and another video from Dave. What's up, YouTube? This is Dave Sadden off White 7. This is another video to do with a video response to Wade Duel. First of the year, hopefully first of many of the year. Well, maybe not. I hope I don't do too many. <laughs> um, video responses with his latest uh, video called Dave's Had Enough Video Response Nintendo Switch. <laughs> Time for some hard truth, buddy, and tough love. <laughs> and another video from Dave. And yeah, pretty much is a video response to Wade Duel. Uh, pretty good dude for the most part. Uh, sometimes my opinions have really set him the fuck off. But there is a lot of times that he does agree with me. I'm not saying you have to agree with me, but it's not always like this with him. You know, he's he's been pretty cool too. He's, but there has been times where he went the fuck off on me. You know, like mainly one before this, but... Uh, I will give you guys an example in this video. Um, I'm not. This video is not going to be too long. I have tried to do this video already, and I tried to respond to the whole video, and it comes out to be way too long. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to address uh, a little bit of the video because there's a lot of different points he makes, and I just want to give you guys a general idea, and then hopefully me and Wade Duel can get into a debate, and maybe I can have a moderator uh, if somebody wants to moderate. And just debate this shit, because he wants a debate. And I just want to give him a video response of why I think he feels the way he does. Do not take this personal, man. But this is what I'm gathering from what your video, what you presented to me with your video, and how you're acting in the comment sections, in, in, in my comment section, uh, you know, and, and, and in the video, and what I can gather. I'm, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. So don't take any offense to what I say. I'm not... You know, not saying it like that, but uh, we're going to go over a little bit of his video. I'm going to show you some points and, uh, you know, see what you guys think. And hopefully we can have that debate. You know, if we both have, you know, I told Wade, I said, hey, you know, shoot me some times you're available and we'll you see if we can make it happen. Because, you know, I mean, I, people, you know, everybody has different schedules and hopefully, you know, we can make something happen. I believe we can. But let me play some of his video, and I'm going to give you some of my points of what I'm thinking, and, uh, you know, let's see what we can do. <laughs> All right, guys, here we go. Hey, everybody, it's me, Wade Duell here, just to say hello once again. I uh, had to do a video today. Um, it's a video response to Dave's One Had Enough and his, if it isn't PlayStation, fuck it, recent video. Uh, before I continue, I like Dave's One Had Enough. Great guy, been on this podcast many times. I agree with a lot of his videos, but I also disagree with some. This is one of them I heavily disagree. So don't take this as, I hate you, I don't like you, Dave. I do, you do a great job. But I have to call you out in this video, because it pissed me off when you said it. Now, in this video, it goes on to pretty much say that if you don't like the Nintendo Switch, if you're not interested and think it's cool and fun, if you don't, uh, if you're not hot on the system... You were basically sucking down Sony's shit, and you don't have a right to, uh, you know, basically don't like the system or be pissed off or raging about it. Like, I'm raging about it too much. Yes, I do have a fucking right to complain, and you're going to hear why I have a right to complain and why a whole bunch of people that you're mentioning, you know, in the video are so pissed off at Nintendo and are raging at this presentation. I didn't want to do this because I've already done a video on why I was pissed off about it, a, a personal reaction to it already on my channel. But here you go. All right, he pretty much says right here that I pretty much said in this video, uh, if it isn't Sony, a.k.a. PlayStation, at this point, fuck it, right? Question mark. And pretty much in this video, what I explained from my end, uh, I don't know what you guys saw, but, I mean, or Wade, <laughs> but pretty much in this video, I was explaining, uh, you know, how the community has been acting just this week and prior events mainly gave examples of this week with Scalebound being cancelled and the Nintendo Switch presentation. Now, he's claiming that I said that nobody has the right to bitch, uh, rage, complain, 
And then he takes it, when, which I didn't, I, I looked through this whole video. I've actually watched this video uh, twice after I've done it. I, I watched it after I uploaded it, and I actually watched it again for this reason today. And I looked through and heard and listened to the whole video, and I can't find one part of this video where I told nobody or anybody that they don't have the right to complain, you know, bitch and rage. <laughs> That I can see. Now, if I'm wrong, please tell me in the comments sections, Wade. Because I asked Wade for a time a timestamp, you know, and I and, and I'm asking you guys if you can find in this video. I know it's a long video; it's 38 minutes and 41 seconds. Can you find anywhere in there that I said that? Now, what he does put with that is some something I did say, which I said. You know, Sony fans pretty much, Yoshida, Yoshida and pretty much Sony can pretty much shit in their mouth at this point. They will taste it. They will like, they'll, they'll enjoy it. They'll swallow, will swallow it and enjoy it. <laughs> Something along the lines of that. And I did say that. So he took what I said and then kind of mixed it with something I think that he kind of has a reflection of <laughs> that he's still kind of stuck on to this day. Let me take you back, you know. To uh, October 13, 2015. This was a time when Star Wars was going on with the Battlefront uh, season pass. You know, and everybody was fucking raging. And I told everybody, shut the fuck up because you ain't buying it anyways. And I think what's going on here is I think Wade is in a time warp. <laughs> you know, I think he's stuck in a time warp. Or he's stuck in the past on an opinion I had for the Star Wars game. And he's just not letting it go. And in this video, I actually told people, shut the fuck up, you know, because you ain't buying it anyways, meaning the season pass. And in this, and this was like the first time, like, Wade, you know, really went off on something I said, like, fucking lost it. And right here, you can see about, I think it was one, about five comments, I think. Yeah, five comments from Wade. I'll read the first one and one other one. So, Dave, you're a corporate whore who loves season passes, question mark. You're a fan of having mass amounts of content cut from the main game only to be sold to you via season passes and DLC, question mark. Have you played Battlefront 2, question mark? Did you see the amount of content it had, question mark? EA's Battlefront is unacceptable. How much is EA paying you, question mark? <laughs> Then he goes down here, he goes, I will not shut the fuck up. You shut the fuck up, corporate whore. <laughs> I'm just giving you, like, how he was at this time. He did video responses and, you know, went the fuck off on me. All right. So, in this video, I can say I said that, but that was, wait, that was, that was October 13, 2015. In this video, I basically say I'm tired of hearing people complain. I never said you're not allowed to complain. I never said you're not allowed to rage. You can go fucking rage all you want. <laughs> you, can, you can do whatever the hell you want. You can go rage, break shit. I don't care. If Nintendo upsets you that much where you have to punch a fucking window out, go do it, buddy. Set your house on fire. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> or apartment or whatever. I mean, I'm just being real. Like, I did not say that in this video that I can find. If I did... Tell me where I said that you cannot be upset about the Nintendo Switch 2017 presentation. Um, you know, I, I, I don't see it. You know, that that's just me. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, but let me let me continue some of the other stuff he said. Why am I pissed off? Well, number one, I'm a Wii U owner, okay? I've been supporting and I have owned every one of Nintendo's main consoles and most of their handhelds. Uh, throughout my whole life, okay, and uh, I'm really uh, pissed off this uh, this presentation because it was fucking shit. This system was under such like close wraps, like behind the scenes, behind the curtain. Everything was so hidden and secretive for so long, and this presentation was supposed to tell us mostly every question that we had, and we had next to no fucking questions answered. I'm not. All right, right there, he says this presentation was supposed to show, was supposed to tell us every question we had to ask, but it was next to none that we were pretty much given, something along the lines of that. Now, 
Did this presentation of Nintendo Switch 2017 that happened this past week, did we not learn new stuff that we did not know? I mean, maybe Wade might have somebody at Nintendo that he knows, like, that we don't know about, that tells him information. <laughs> I don't know. But I'll tell you one thing. I learned stuff about the controller, the uh, Joy-Con, how they work. I learned the new, a I believe it's called the, I could be wrong, don't quote, uh, don't quote me on this, the HD Rumble, I believe it's called. How you can actually fucking feel the controller if they were doing a, like, say the controller was playing a game and you were, they were putting ice cubes in the game. You could actually feel that shit in your controller to, to even how many ice cubes are in the fucking glass with water being poured in it. I don't know, but that's some fucking cool shit if you ask me. <laughs> um, you know, they, they told us that. They told us Splatoon 2 that we did not know nothing about. They showed us arms that we knew nothing about, which I thought was fucking awesome. Day one buy for me. Uh, if I get the Switch, uh, you know, or if I wait and get the Switch later, it'll be bought with the Switch. Um, uh, they showed us more in Zelda, how fucking awesome it is, you know, even more. They showed us, um, what, what else did they, they give you a new fucking Xenoblade 2 that nobody knew about? I mean, come on. The only thing I could honestly see somebody actually fucking picking about, because it's more, it looks more like it's aimed towards kids, is 1-2 Switch. You know, but a majority of the games shown, I don't think we're as bad as people are fucking making it out to be, you know, and, and, you know, RXL just did a video, and me and Dirty addressed this too, in the uh, live stream that I did of Late Night Live episode 2. You know, it was actually Dirty's arguments. So I give full props to Dirty, but, you know, and RXL addressed it in his video. Great review. Shout out to fucking RXL. Uh, his video and Dirty's will be linked in the description because I know Dirty did a new video that I didn't get to check out either. I got to check out RXL's, but I didn't get to check out Dirty's newest video. But uh, both make great points, you know, when it comes to you know, exclusive lineups. When the hell did we ever get these amazing launch lineups for exclusives, you know, with these consoles? Let's just take the PS4 and the Xbox One, for example, like me and Dirty talked about in the live stream. Okay, the PS4 launched with Killzone 4 Shadow Falls. <laughs> and it came with NAC 2. Uh, you know, how many people are still playing those games to this day? Or Knack 1, my bad. I don't know why I said Knack 2. Knack 1. How many people are playing those two games right now? <laughs> okay, let's... And, and Rezogun, which there might be some people still playing that. But are those three games, any of them system sellers? Are they worth $400? No. <laughs> Alright, let's move over to the Xbox One. You had games like Rise and Dead Rising 3. I liked both them games, but they're not system sellers. But people gladly went out and paid 500 for that at launch. Okay. So when it comes to the exclusives of the Switch, you know, I don't think these are bad. It's launching, and you know, you could sit here and get technical with it. Yes, it's going to be on the Wii U, but the superior version is on the fucking Switch for The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. That's the one I want to play on that console. You know, I want to play it on that. Same thing with ARMS. And the funny thing is, you know, um, you know, a lot of you guys are, like I heard even Wade say this in his video, that you, ha like, you have to use the Joy-Con and the motion controls. Because I can't play this whole video because it goes on, it, it'd be too much of a video response. Um, you know, that he says in this video that he is basically upset that, you know, he don't want motion controls and all that shit. They're giving you the option not to have to use, not to have, not to use the motion controls. You don't have to use them. You can actually use a uh, pro controller or you can use the, uh, the, the joy cons and put them together like a regular controller. You don't have to use them with motion. You don't. But a game like ARMS, I would want to use with motion controls. It'd be awesome. But you have the option to play it with like a traditional controller, you don't have to do that. You can actually put your fucking Joy-Cons back together and play it like a regular control with a regular controller. So I don't, he goes on in this video about motion controls. He goes on about the online, you know, you know, he's not, he's not paying for online because he's not, they're going to be giving you random games. What kind of fucking garbage do we get with the PS4 every month that we don't own? 
the minute you don't oh the minute you don't have that PS4 prescription, those games are not yours. They're taken back. I would rather. I hate to say this, you know, but I if it if they do give us, we don't know because it's more information more information in the future. But say they do give us, you know, decent games like say Mario Odyssey, just for an example. Say they decide to do something like that with their prescription. I'd rather have that for a month and finish the son of a bitch instead of getting a bunch, owning, not owning, renting a bunch of free games every time I pay my prescription that I have an access to a fucking junk. I mean, let's be real, guys. Let's be real. Majority of these games, even on Xbox now, they're slowed down and they're giving us shit. They gave us some good games in the past. And I think PlayStations gave us, like, with the PS4, they gave us NBA 2K and they gave us Injustice Gods Among Us and maybe one other one, you know. But they, all both of these consoles now, even with PlayStation going up, they're giving us shit. Say the Switch actually did give us a uh, Mario Odyssey or let us try ARMS for a month. I'd be down with that because let's get to the real point of why we pay for online. Why do we pay for online, guys? It's not for the free games. It's not for the deals at the end of the day. A majority of people, I'm saying a majority, let me say a majority, not everybody, but a majority of people pay to play online because you have to pay to play your online games. They're not paying, they're not getting online for the subscription to get these fucking deals and shit. Some people are, but a majority of people are getting it for the access to play your online games. And you all bitched and moaned that you want a better online infrastructure including me, and we're getting one, but you're going to have to pay for it, and I think why Wade's so upset in this video, because he's mentioned a few times in this video that, you know, he's not happy about, you know, the, the, the subscription, and he said he, you know, currently is not working, and, you know, he's bitching about, you know, the prices in Canada, and, and a lot of people bitch about prices in Canada, it's not just Wade, they're saying, oh, you know, the prices in Canada is more money, isn't your currency higher up there? Like, does isn't your isn't your minimum wage higher up there? Like, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, doesn't it even out like everywhere else in the fucking world? If shit's lower, your 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 minimum wage is lower. I mean, I've talked to some people like uh, Wolflow, and he said, and I believe it was Wolflow that told me that you know their wages are you know, max match their minimum wage. It don't match it perfectly like everywhere, but it's it goes with the fucking what people make, what it's all like connected, just like here, like we got lower rent, but you get lower fucking minimum wage, it's, it, the wages are just, it's the currency, that's what I'm trying to say, like, you know, it's funny that, I always hear this with, with Canadians, when it comes, a majority of them, not all of them, but a majority of them here in this community, they say that, you know, all oh, these, all these prices on games, it's more money, it's all this, well, I'm sorry, I'm not buying that, you know, uh, that your, your prices over there, your, your jobs aren't offering, you know, you're, you're getting paid next to nothing and they're charging all this fucking money for shit. You know, I think it's just like here, you got a good, it, it all falls under what kind of job you're doing really at the end of the day, you know, that's a money issue. And I'll be honest with you, uh, when it comes down to gaming, it's not a cheap hobby. You know, it's not, it's, it, it isn't not no more. You know, I don't think anybody that is looking at a Nintendo Switch, and I hate to say it like this, you know, it might come out kind of wrong or something, but if you're looking at a Nintendo Switch and you're not currently working right now, and you're going to get upset over the price point of it being $300, I don't even think you should be looking at a Switch. You know, I'm just being honest. Like, that to me seems like why you're mad about this, because of the price point of it. You know, I would have liked to have been 250 200 or whatever, you know, but that's the price they're offering. You know, you nobody has is forced to buy this. They're, Nintendo's not coming out, or the new president, or however the fuck you say his name, with a gun and held, holding it to your head and saying, okay, you have to buy this Switch. They're not doing it, you know, and, and to me, it's just like, with this video, Wade, I'm feeling that you, you're upset that... Nintendo's charging a lot of money for the console in your eyes. Uh, they're charging, because you, you mentioned the game, the, the pro controller's a lot of money. Uh, you're mentioning you pay for the online. You, you mentioned the console's uh, $300, you know, and you're not paying for that. And you and you said in this video, you're currently looking for a job. and, you, and you, that. So to me, it looks like 
a lot of your frustrations are being taken out from it's a money issue and maybe because of what that's causing is your frustration because there's no reason you should be this mad at a Nintendo Switch presentation. I'm sorry, dude. I'm just being real. And and you're going the fuck off like like a crazy person about fucking Nintendo. And that's what I'm saying like people in this community are going nuts over fucking the over fucking uh entertainment. You know, like something that's supposed to entertain you. And it's and it's and it's making you frustrated. Maybe gaming isn't for you guys. I don't know. I, I hate to say it like this, but um, you know, that's what I'm gathering. You know, but I could be wrong. You know, this is just my opinion from what I gathered from your video. I mean, it is what it is. But if you're more than down to do a debate, I am too. Like it, it don't matter. If you want to debate about things, that's fine. But that's just my thoughts. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section. Like I said, there's more I could address in this video, but I'd be here all day. I just wanted to give you a brief, you know, uh, observation of his video. Shout out to Wade Dwell, good dude. But uh, I think that's what's going on, Wade, and that's my opinion. Because you're, it seems like you're like, you're all over the place, like with certain things. Like I don't know, I, I don't. It, it's not making much sense. You're saying that they didn't show nothing, where they showed a lot of shit we didn't know nothing about. And I'm just keeping it real. I just want to add this last thing to the whole thing and just make things clear. I am not attacking uh, Wade Duel. Uh, and I'm not coming at him sideways for if he is going through a money situation. I just gathered that from his video. I'm just, it's from me, from my point of view, it looks like he's upset with the whole Nintendo Switch presentation. Because now they're charging for online. You know, now they're, uh, you know, it's going to be $300. You know, I, I think it's more of a, from my observation, it looks like he's upset that it's just going to cost a lot of money. And that's understandable, you know. But a lot of you guys in Canada that I talk to here on YouTube, you know, a lot of you talk about how high the prices are and everything. And I talk to some people from Canada that say, you know, they're doing fine. You know, I don't think there'd be so many people from the United States when they get pissed off at the United States, jump to the first place they say Canada, you know, maybe because it's so close. But at the same time, you some of you guys make it seem like there's fucking like bread lines going on over there in the Great Depression. You know, I'm just saying like I get that sense and it's not, you know, it's not funny or nothing like that. But I'm just saying like, in my opinion, from what I gathered from Wade's video and Wade, I'm telling you this, it, you know, you're, you seem to be upset with the price for paying online. It's understandable. You know, $300 for a new console, is that really unreasonable? I don't think so. I really don't. A new product on the line, you know, it's just coming out. You know, look at PlayStation 4 when that came out, 400 bucks. Xbox One, 500 bucks. Yes, you could argue with me it's under, you know, this, this console is going to be underpowered. But at the same time, the technology that they're using with this console, that might be where the $300 is, most likely, you know. But I'm not saying that, hey, you know, you don't need to be gaming or nothing like that. But if gaming makes you this upset and, you know, the, the prices of things are really expensive, that's what I'm saying when I say maybe you don't need to be gaming, you know, or game on what you got, you know, and not worry about a new product like the Switch. Just play your Xbox, you know. And when you do get the money for it, then get it. But if you are frustrated, truly, other than, you know, it seems like a money issue, then I'm wrong. You know, I'm just saying that's what I'm gathering. It's no disrespect towards you. I'm just giving you my feedback because you gave me a video response on what, you know, I was saying. You know, and, and the way you're coming at me and what you're presenting, that's what I'm gathering. You know, I'm just keeping it real. It's nothing. No, I hope you didn't take any offense to this video. I, I mean, it might seem like, uh, you know, I might be, you know, too hard of a critic on your video. Uh, or, but you're asking, you're sending me a video response, and I'm just doing my response. But I, I mean, I talk to procrastination all the time, you know, and he lives up in Canada. He says, you know, prices are high with games, but the living, you know, minimum wage and stuff, it's just like here, you know, like I said, you know, everything's cheap where I live, but the minimum wage is low. It usually matches where you are. I understand maybe shit is more high, but it's not that high. Like you got some of you guys put it out there, bear hugger and uh, like Wade. I don't think it's unreasonable because if it's that much, you shouldn't even be looking at that if it's that much of a struggle to get it. You know, I understand gaming something everybody loves, but I wouldn't be even looking at it if, that, if it was that much like you guys said, you know. 
But that's just my point of view of things. Uh, we can debate, like I said, this video has gone on long enough. Sorry, guys, wait. I hope you didn't take any, you know, any of what I said, you know, in a different way. Maybe I'm seeing things wrong. We will more, you know, I'm open to a debate, like I said. We'll get a moderator. It can happen, you know. Uh, or we could just get into Google Hangouts. We don't even need a moderator. We could just talk about it, and it is what it is. But that's my video, guys. Later, YouTube.